Hello friends, today let's solve the number of dice rows with target sum. We have d dice, and each die has f faces, numbered 1, 2, 2, f. We are given a target, and we want to know how many ways we roll the dice, then we can get this sum. Uh, as we can get a large number, so we should uh, module this number. I think this is um, this is like a signal that we should use dynamic programming. The reason I want to explain this question because I think it's a typical knapsack problem or template. Let's see what exactly is this question asked about. We have d dice, so which means in this example we have two dice. And uh, then we actually need to choose uh, at most or at least exactly one item from these six items, right? Actually, it has six faces, one, two, six. Then we should uh, sum them. If uh, it's a sum equal to target, then we have one combination. Uh, I use different colors. If they have the same color, that means their sum is equal to the target. So in, in this case, we have six combinations. So we have six um, ways to sum up uh, equal to the target. So how to solve this problem? If we don't have these dice, could you recognize this question? It's actually the coin change. We have, uh, we have some coins and it has, um, and then we need to get uh, a target uh, number of coins, how many ways we can uh, get. This is a typical knapsack problem. We just use two for loops. We iterate uh, these coins, and then we iterate uh, um, the target, uh, or we will say the total, total, maybe total money from target uh, uh, to the coin, so which means it's a decreasing order. Uh, you should notice that this is a typical knapsack uh, pattern. We actually iterate from larger to smaller number. So now we have another variable, which is the dice. So how do we solve it? It's actually very simple. We just put another for loop. What do I mean? We firstly iterate each dice, this dice. And uh, in the two for loops, just simply like the coin change, we iterate each face, we call it J. And then we iterate each possible sum. It uh, should uh, uh, go from target to J, so it's a decreasing order. So do we have a 2D DP array or something else? Yes, we have 2D array. How do we define it? DPIK means for I dice, how many ways to get the target sum K. So I think you can write down the transition function. The DPIK should, uh, I mean, it should, uh, uh, it should equal to its previous ways plus DPI minus one. Uh, k minus j. How to understand it? i is current uh, dice. i minus 1 means the previous dice. Like current dice is 3. Um, we have 3 dice. i minus 1 means 2 dice. And uh, currently we sum up 2k because we use the current face j. What if we don't use current face j? That, then that will be k minus j. So we just uh, accumulate this sum. So dpi minus 1, k minus j. Don't forget to module mode. Then we are done. So in the end, what should we return? It's simple, right? We just need to return dp d target. OK, I think you should understand this question well. It's a very useful pattern for this type of 
knapsack problem. We first iterate each group, maybe you would say. We iterate each group, and then we iterate every item in this group. And in the loop is for some target, uh, usually in decreasing order from larger uh, number to smaller number. And uh, I think the difference among different questions is about the transition function. Uh, you should just uh, think about uh, it, can we, uh, not can we, in the current group, the number of ways should uh, be transited from previous group, so i minus one. And the uh, current sum is k. What if we don't use it, then it's k minus j. I think uh, the difference between different questions is about uh, uh, this t is about uh, do we want to get uh, how many ways or we want to get a maximum value? I think that depends on different questions. But this pattern is very useful. Okay, let's write the code. We need a 2D array and uh, the size will be D plus one, target plus one. Why we need a one? Because that will be simple. We can just uh, in the end return dpd and the target. Uh, another reason is that is for the initialization because dp zero zero is one. What does that mean? If we have zero dice and zero, a target is zero, then we have one way. It's uh, cons it is consistent uh, with the coin change. And a word break question. If we have zero, then we have one way. Uh, other values are zero because uh, in Java it's by default zero. Then we just uh, iterate, uh, first iterate the group D, I plus plus. Then we iterate J from one, J two, F, J plus plus. Then we iterate, uh, we call it a K from target and uh, k uh, greater or equal than, uh, uh, sorry, j and k minus minus. And what should we do? dp i minus one, k minus j, uh, if don't equal, uh, don't equal to zero, then we have dp i k, uh, accumulate dp i minus one, k minus j, and, uh, uh, sorry, this is j, a. This is j. And uh, don't forget to module k, uh, module equal to dp i k module mode. So let's write uh, this mode. Uh, this is one zero 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 seven. Okay, okay. I think we are done. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.